Uh, we're going to go to our last, but certainly not least, talk. Um, so thank you again to our last panelists. Um, and uh, yeah, going to invite uh, Pooja up to the stage. Uh, hey, Pooja, feel free to uh, share or share your camera, unmute yourself, um, and welcome to the stage. Uh, excited to hear about the FEM Bootcamp uh, from Pooja, and then always wonderful to have uh, Pooja be a part of uh, anything we're doing, basically. So welcome to the show. Thank you. Super excited to chat about this um, today and also very excited to be participating in the hackathon this time. So that's been fun. Um, but yeah, I will share screen. Um, awesome. Well, yes, as, as Jacob mentioned, um, I'm here today to talk about the FEM Bootcamp, also formerly known as the Radius Fellowship, um, FEM edition. Um, and so uh, for those of you who, who may not know me, I work with Tefra Labs and Radius is um, a project that from Tefra Labs, it's a decentralized talent marketplace. Um, and so for the Radius Fellowship, this is um, a program we recently launched and it's um, we, we basically saw that there was a need for people within the Web3 space um, to have more like protocol specific training if they were interested in finding future like opportunities within uh, within Web3 and maybe in that particular protocol ecosystem. And because we know and love the Filecoin team so much and also are um, have been watching the progress of FEM and Fevum uh, really closely over the last few months, we thought we would take a um, run the first version of this protocol specific training program with FEM. So the Radius Fellowship more broadly um, is an advanced training program for folks who are interested in um, learning how to build with new protocols. We are really excited to kind of introduce a community element to it. So this is a cohort based program and it's, um, you know, folks apply to be part of the fellowship. We go through a little selection process so that we can make sure that the cohort will have really great um, connections and really start to build that sense of a network and community amongst itself. Um, and then we're also working with the various protocol ecosystems to identify grant opportunities for um, the folks who participate in this cohort. So they get an opportunity to build something that's real, um, sort of like get, you know, we all love hackathon prizes. So it's sort of a similar vibe in the sense of um, getting some funding to work on something that's meaningful within this ecosystem, building a community, getting the training. Um, to know how to like really confidently build within that ecosystem and then seeing what that sort of opens up in terms of future opportunities after the program is done. Uh, the first cohort, as I mentioned, is focused on FEM and we're starting this program in um, early January next year. The applications are closing next week, but they're still live now. So if you do want to take a peek at that, um, the, the website I think was on the previous slide, but that's at fellowship.radius.space. Um, and we are looking for folks who, you know, especially for this first cohort, we want to make sure that everyone is really set up for success. So looking for folks who do have a few years of engineering experience, but it doesn't have to be in Web3. So I think a lot of the folks who are maybe participating in this hackathon could be a really great fit for the first version of this uh, program. And then we are currently charging a fee for the course, but um, there are fee waivers that are available as well. And that's something that um, we are planning to be like fairly generous with. So ultimately, you know, if you are interested in participating in this program and you would be really excited to complete all the um, the assigned work and participate in projects with other people in the cohort and really just do the work of, um, you know, going through this boot camp because it will probably be a fairly intense experience for the folks who are participating. Um, we, for this first, first version, would be happy to waive the fee. It's mostly just about making sure we have people who are like really excited about this and willing to put in the effort um, it takes to be successful. Um, so just to give a little bit of an overview of how we're thinking of structuring um, this program, the, there's it's, it's a four week program officially, but there are a couple of um, pre like precursor weeks, I would say, or kind of preparatory weeks for folks who are newer to Web3. Um, the first week, uh, or week negative one, as we're calling it, is kind of a more general introduction to Web3 broadly, sort of like the ideology of the space, um, and especially how that ideology and some of that ethos translates into how we think about building projects in Web3. Um, I think it's like a very unique space, largely because of just how strong um, how, how many shared values and principles there are and how that does translate to how people think about um, building software and, and, and projects more generally. So we uh, think it's always important to start with that. Um, and then we'll also be doing a little bit of a deep dive into Solidity. Um, this, the first version of the FBM bootcamp is going to be focused on Fevum because uh, also just because of the timing, it's early 2023. And so um, Fevum will be like pretty robust, I'm sure, by that standpoint, by that time. But um, I believe at the, the timing of the FBM 
um, itself is scheduled for like later in, in Q1, 2023. So that's why we're sort of focusing on FEBM for the first version, but we will be doing a little bit of an, um, a deep dive into Solidity, uh, for folks who this may be like their first time kind of experiencing it, or, um, they're sort of like newer to working with Solidity and then the full program, which everyone will be participating in who's accepted into the cohort, um, is the four week program. And the first week of that will be focused on Filecoin protocol fundamentals and also some of the architecture of FEM starting to do some introductory um, content on, on that front. The second week will be more of a deep dive into how um, FEM itself is st structured and some of the tooling that folks can use if they're looking to deploy projects. We'll also this week um, talk about use cases and start to like brainstorm and ideate on really valuable opportunities that might exist um, in the Filecoin ecosystem to build high impact projects in uh, on FEM. Um, and then the third week will sort of be, kick off formally working on bigger projects. There will kind of be like, um, you know, smaller projects that everyone is kind of doing the same thing the first couple of weeks. And then week three will be more like uh, choose your own adventure type of projects with teams that will help you form. Um, and then if, if you're interested in that, you could also work solo. And then week four is kind of like wrapping up those projects um, or deciding what the next steps would look like if, if they are gonna be longer term. Um, helping to construct portfolios and so on, if that's interesting. And then the uh, the last piece of it would be thinking about how to set folks up in this cohort for whatever future opportunities might be interesting to, to you. So whether that's looking for grants um, to continue the work that you were sort of doing during the program or like finding new grant opportunities, um, whether it's looking for full-time opportunities um, in the FDM or, you know, like sort of that general ecosystem or, or other ecosystems or like finding teammates to continue working on exciting projects with. Uh, this is a little bit of just today how we are imagining the weekly structure will um, will kind of look. So there's, we've planned basically a live session uh, every weekday and there will be some amount of async work as well, um, pretty much every every day, although a lot of this will kind of be at your own pace, um, the non-live sessions at least. Every week we'll sort of have a project assignment, as I mentioned, um, and then, you know, we're trying to introduce um, other other sessions um, to make this like, you know, like fun and expanding horizons in terms of thinking about opportunities in Web3 more broadly. So we're planning on doing weekly guest speakers um, who are all going to like all amazing humans and um, also giving cohort members sort of like private AMA sessions and so on with those speakers. Um, also doing like small group sessions so that we can really start to build um, that like network and community within cohort mates. Um, some of the types of live sessions that we are planning on organizing include live coding sessions, um, lectures on many different topics sort of governed by the theme of the week, um, and then a number of different like deep dives, which we will we'll, you know, be happy to sort of organize and schedule based on interest. Um, but these are some of the topics that folks have already mentioned being interested in that we're planning on covering. Um, and then also just throughout, you know, the program, we are really here to basically support. We're, we're doing this because we want to see how we can help set people up for really amazing careers in Web3. Um, and so there will be num numerous opportunities to kind of uh, get feedback and mentorship from uh, from the folks who are running this program and also others within uh, the ecosystem. And as I mentioned, you know, we're working to identify projects and grant opportunities for folks to kind of pick up during the program as well. So you sort of get that like real life experience a little bit. Um, this is the current uh, group of folks that is organizing the fellowship. Um, and it's myself, Rohan and Steph, um, all really friendly people. And um, yeah, excited for you to meet them if you decide to participate in the program. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, feel free to um, email us or, you know, DM us on Twitter and the website is fellowship.radius.space and um, you can check, take a look and apply if you're interested. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you, Pooja. Um, it sounds really exciting. And, and I mean, also like a perfect segue from like, if you hack this weekend and really like what you see and want to keep going. And um, this seems like an awesome way to sort of take that that deep dive and, and go through like a really rigorous experience and, and maybe at the end of it, it, it probably will be life changing for some of these people. So I'm, I'm really excited to, uh, to, to hear that and I'm glad that we talked about this at the hackathon. Um, I think it's perfect, perfect timing.